Hello everybody, Killer here. I've been tagged in a video and I didn't realize I was tagged. So I apologize for that. I just want to thank the guy who tagged me. Uh, this is the guy actually. Um, he has an amazing channel, so go and check this guy out. If you're looking for reviews of clones, of fragrances, like really good clones, this guy is the person to go for. He's like currently killing it in the clone game. So the first tagged question is how many bottles do I own? Soon I'm going to be doing a video on my fragrance collection. Let's just say more than 50 less than 70. So the next question is how I store my fragrances. I just keep them on the shelf like everybody else really in a room, uh, just on a normal shelf. So my first fragrance, my first ever fragrance I think I bought was Lacoste Challenge because my friend was wearing it in school. So I really liked it on him. So I bought it and I, I just got addicted to that fragrance, Lacoste Challenge. The second proper fragrance I ever bought for myself was Your Poem. Uh, this fragrance, everybody knows it. So yeah, that's the second fragrance I ever bought. The first fragrance I ever fell in love with and it actually got me into fragrances, was Crabtree and Evelyn's Moroccan Mur. This fragrance, guys, is still amazing to me. It's nothing special. It's like a, a really nice barbershop fragrance. That's the first time I ever got into fragrances. I was actually working at Crabtree and Evelyn, and every time I walked past the Moroccan Mur section, because um, I was actually picking and packing, so every time I actually had to pick Moroccan Mur by Crabtree and Evelyn, I always smelt it, and it was just so amazing, guys. Without this fragrance, I probably wouldn't be into fragrances that much. So the next question is newest buys. So the newest fragrance I've bought, I think, was Armani Code Profumo. I think that's the newest fragrance I've bought. I haven't been buying that many fragrances recently because, you know, Christmas is coming up. So the most expensive I've ever bought, um, I haven't really bought a, an expensive fragrance, you know. I haven't got any niche fragrances or nothing like that. I can't wait to get my first niche actually soon. But the most expensive fragrance I've ever bought was probably Dior Sauvage when I bought it new. Because uh, I bought it retail in store uh, from Boots. And I was about, I think it was about 69 or 79 pounds, something like that. So, you know, for a designer fragrance, that's quite on the high end. Uh, I know that's not expensive really, but, you know, compared to niche. But uh, yeah, so that's the answer to that question. On to the next one. My best bargain fragrance. Now, I remember a fragrance I bought Dior. Oh, I bought a bottle of Dior Home on eBay for literally 40 pound for 100 ml and it was the vintage formulation. An absolutely amazing fragrance to me. I love it guys, I honestly love that fragrance. The next question is my favorite fragrance store. Now, I don't really go to stores much and buy fragrances. I only go to Boots to actually sample. I buy most of my fragrances on eBay and um, you know, the usual sites, Amazon and stuff like that. But be warned, Amazon does have a lot of fakes too. So. There's fakes on loads of sites, guys, so you gotta be careful. But sometimes on eBay, is, you find a fragrance for really cheap, and sometimes it is real, you know, it's not fake. So, yeah, I bought a lot of fragrances off eBay. That's probably my main go-to place. I know it shouldn't be, but... So the next question is my favorite fragrance in my collection. For compliments, just for compliments, Pineapple Vintage Intense, okay? That gives me so many compliments. I, If I ever want compliments, you know, I just I just go, ooh, I just want compliments today. I'm going out or something. I'm not trying to sell it to you, but um, yeah, I was given a bottle for free, but this fragrance, guys, Pineapple Vintage Intense, is just so amazing to me. Obviously, Aventus is better, but I don't own Aventus, okay? So my favorite fragrance in my collection, CH Men, guys. I love CH Men so much, and the reformulated version is still a good fragrance. There's something in CH Men that's so natural and sweet and just rich and leathery, and it just smells like real grass and leather and sugar. And obviously the reformulated version has less of all of our notes, but it's still the same fragrance to me, guys, the reformulated version. So yeah, I'm gonna say uh, Lamb Wheat Alone for me is still, you know, in my top three. I think my three favorite fragrances is Aventus, Lamb Wheat Alone, and probably CH Man, yeah. So the next question is my next purchase. I really would like to get Cedra Boise, and I know that's a niche fragrance, and I'd love to get that fragrance because it smells so much like the smells I love. Like Cedra Boise to me, it just smells so rich and clean and fruity and just amazing to me. So yeah, Cedra Boise is an amazing fragrance I might get next. Um, Probably more realistically though, Prada Lome, something like that, because I love Prada Lome. I've had a sample of it, five mil uh, decant, and I just gotta say, I love that fragrance. Prada Lome is so amazing to me. I do wanna get my hands on Zara White Collection, that's apparently a Lamb Wheat Lome clone, so I, I wanna get my hands on that to compare it to the other clones I have. So my dream fragrance, um, there's this smell, okay guys, that, that you smell, and I've smelled it in a few fragrances, Creed Aventus definitely, and Dior Sauvage. There's a smell in them fragrances. I don't know if it's Isoe Super or something like that, or it might be Ambroxan or Ambergris, I'm smelling, like something, some form of that. But it's a sweet, jasmine -y, 
rich, intense, manly smell. And I can't for the love of me make out what it is. Like especially the real event dust, the real event dust. The dry down when it's on your hand like from the next day, it's absolutely amazing smell. There's this is rich, unique one note and it smells like jasmine, rich, ambroxan. I don't know what it is. It's very, very sweet, but very interesting. Very interesting. I love that smell. And if I could have a fragrance with just that one smell in there, that would be my fragrance for life. Honestly, guys, it's the best smell I've ever smelt. My friend from work, right, what he did, he wore a vent dust. Then the next day, he still had a bit of Aventus on him coming off his skin. Then he wore Sauvage by Dior. And they mixed together, and that smell I'm on about, that jasmine-y, sweet, rich, ambroxan, ambergris smell, I don't know what it is, I'm just guessing you. But it's a sweet, intense, very, very, very interesting smell. I'd really like to see Peter from Fragrance View do this. Um, I think he has an amazing channel. And obviously, he doesn't go with the crowd. He doesn't say, oh, this designer fragrance is amazing. He doesn't just, you know, he doesn't bullshit his way through YouTube, okay? He says what's up. He says what's on his mind. And he always tells you what he likes. And he has a very, very acquired taste, which is amazing in fragrances. Because uh, if you like every fragrance, you know, some people wouldn't rely on you to recommend fragrances to them. Because you have a sort of you know, a very taste, everything will do you sort of thing. But Peter actually really, you know, spends his time with fragrances and he'll tell you if it's really good or it's, if it's not worth the time. But he hates some fragrances I love too, so it's amazing to see that. I love seeing a fragrance I really love and it's being bashed by someone else. And I, lo I love that because it gives you like another perspective on the fragrance. So yeah, Peter from Fragrance View, if you're watching this, um, you're probably not watching it. You probably got your own thing going on because you're very busy with your channel because it's, it's amazing. But Peter from Fragrance View, if you're watching this, I leave the questions in the description. If you want to do it, you can do it. If you don't, you don't. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, as always. Um, I'm going to be trying to do weekly uploads. So yeah, weekly uploads from now on. Um, I'm going to try and keep that up as much as I can. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, as always. Don't forget to listen to my music at the end. And also don't forget to subscribe to my music channel uh, down in the description. That would be amazing if you could. And I'll see you all in the next video.